Hello everyone. Today we will discuss smart material, its application, and uh, its classification. So smart materials are advanced materials that can detect changes in their environment and respond to those changes in a controlled manner. They adapt to external factors like temperature, pressure, electric or magnetic field, pH or moisture content. These materials can alter their shape, stiffness, transparency and other properties in response, making them essential for innovative technologies across various industries. So a smart material is, a, is covered basically in multidisciplinary fields that integrates concepts from biology, from physics, from chemistry, from material science, uh, from micro electromechanical systems, structural engineering, electronics and instrumentations, and computer science and information technologies. So smart materials have significant, significant potential across various industries, including healthcare, space industry, infrastructure, due to their, their ability to adopt and respond to environmental changes in controlled way. Now let's discuss the classification of smart materials. Smart materials are of many types. We will discuss few of them here and their application. So let's start with the shape memory alloy. Shape memory alloys are materials that have the ability to return to their original shapes after being deformed when exposed to specific temperatures. They are mostly used in medic, uh, medical devices like bones, bone plates, or also in aerospace applications like deployable satellite structure. Uh, for example, uh, nitinol, nitinol uh, basically it is basically a nickel and titanium alloy. Very recently, NASA Research Center has developed a new tire for future Mars rover missions, and it is made of mesh of wires of nitinol which is a shape memory alloy based on nickel titanium that allows the tire to return to its original shape after undergoing deformation. Now let's move to the next uh, is piezoelectric material. Piezoelectric materials are uh, basically uh, materials uh, that generate electric charge when stressed or they can also change the shape when exposed to electric field. They are found in sensor, actuator, microphone, etc which convert mechanical vibration into electrical power so exam for example uh, uh, stethoscope stethoscope uh, basically in stethoscope uh, piezo piezoelectric materials are used in stethoscope when the stethoscope is placed on the patient's chest the piezoelectric material converts the sound waves from the heart into electrical signals and then the electrical signals is then processed by the stethoscope's circuitry and converted back into the sound, allowing the doctor to hear the hear and analyze the patient heart sound. Now, thermochromic material. Thermochromic material basically changes their color based on temperature fluctuations. These materials have application in smart textile and temperature indicators. Example: thermo uh, thermochromic spoon or color changing spoon. So basically, a thermochromic spoon is a special kind of spoon that change color based on the temperature of the food. It's like a tiny thermometer that tells you if your food is hot or cold. So now uh, let's uh, move to uh, photochromic material. Photochromic materials change their color or uh, color in response to the light, typically ultraviolet light. These materials are often used to adapt to varying light conditions, becoming darker when exposed to bright light and returning to their uh, clear state in a lower light conditions. For example, uh, photochromic lens. These lenses are used in transition glasses. These lenses darken when exposed to sunlight or ultraviolet light and become clear again indoors or in low light environments. This, this makes them uh, ideal for eyewear that adjust to changing light conditions, providing both vision correctness and protection from the uh, bright sunlight. Now let's move to PS sensitive materials. PS sensitive materials are designed to change the, their properties such as color, solubility, swelling in response to the change in pH level. These materials are often used in application where monitoring or responding to pH is critical such as environmental sensing, 
ड्रग डिलीवरी सिस्टम बायोमेडिकल एप्लीकेशन लेट्स मूव टू मैग्नेटो स्ट्रिक्टिव मटीरियल्स मैग्नेटो स्ट्रिक्टिव मटीरियल्स आर मटीरियल्स दैट अंडर गो चेंज इन शेप और डायमेंशन इन रिस्पॉन्स टू एन अप्लाइड मैग्नेटिक फील्ड This property is due to the alignment of magnetic domains within the material, which alters its physical dimension and magnetized. These materials are widely used in sensor, actuators, transducers because they can convert because they can convert magnetic energy into mechanical motion and vice versa. For example, magnetic magnetostructive transducer. This is a device that converts electrical energy into mechanical energy or vice versa using magneto restrictive effect when magnetic field field is applied to magnetic uh, magneto restrictive materials it causes the material to change shape or length uh, this physical deformation can be used to generate the ultrasonic waves to create mechanical motion there are many other types of uh, uh, smart materials for example electrochromic materials Uh, self healing polymers hydrogels thermo response thermo responsive polymers carbon nanotubes conductive polymers so there are many more smart materials so that's it for today thank you